Economics is built on the assumption that people do the best they can given their circumstances, which means that they're going to do whatever they do until the marginal cost is equal to the marginal benefit. And that, of course, also applies to firms, firms that are engaged in maximizing profit. We've seen this for perfectly competitive firms, where the price is set in markets and the firm has a perfectly elastic demand curve that's equal to its marginal revenue curve. Marginal revenue is the marginal benefit for firms. The marginal cost of producing is then added to the picture and firms are going to produce until marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue, so they'll produce this quantity. Now, in the case of perfectly competitive firms, we have the special case where price is equal to marginal revenue. So oftentimes we've abbreviated the decision that firms make as producing the quantity where price is equal to marginal cost. But that's only true because price is equal to marginal revenue. So competitive firms set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost, marginal benefit equal to marginal cost, as is always the case when people do the best they can given their circumstances. Well, the same is going to be true for firms that have market power, but they have a downward sloping demand curve with a marginal revenue curve that, if the demand curve is linear, has the same intercept and twice the slope. We've illustrated this intuitively, and we've shown it with some calculus. And if the calculus is confusing to you, just rely on your intuition and don't worry about the calculus. So now we have a marginal revenue curve. All we have to do is add the marginal cost curve. So if we add a marginal cost curve to this picture, the firm is going to produce until marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue, until this point here. So they're going to produce this quantity, and then they're going to charge the price that the demand curve tells them that they're able to charge for that quantity. So rather than price being set by the market, the firm determines what price it wants to charge by figuring out what quantity sets marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. And you can see the intuition in the picture. For the first unit, the firm gets this marginal revenue. It incurs this marginal cost. So it makes a profit on that first unit. For the second unit, the additional revenue is larger than the additional cost. So it makes additional profit from the second unit. And that's going to be true all the way until marginal cost intersects marginal revenue. If it were to produce any additional units, the marginal cost would exceed the marginal revenue. So it would take away from its profit. So firms are going to produce at that point, and we can immediately see in this picture the problem with market power. The firms produce when marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue, which makes sense for the firms. But from the society's perspective, you want to produce goods so long as the marginal benefit to society is greater than the marginal cost. And the marginal benefit to society is captured in the demand curve if there are no externalities. So we would have additional goods that we could produce where there's additional marginal benefit as measured in the demand curve that exceeds the marginal cost. The monopoly or the firm with market power isn't producing these additional goods that could gain us this additional surplus. So that additional surplus that we could get by producing all the way to where marginal cost intersects demand that additional surplus isn't produced in the market, in the market where the firm has market power. So the essential problem with market power is that firms raise price, and in order to raise price, they restrict quantity. So they restrict quantity in order to raise price and maximize their profit. And through that restriction of quantity, they leave goods unproduced that could get us social surplus. That's not a problem we face in perfectly competitive markets, because in perfectly competitive markets, this supply curve is the sum of all the marginal cost curves of the firms, and so it represents the marginal cost to society. And in the absence of externalities, that represents the marginal costs and the demand curve represents the marginal benefits.
the market produces where those two intersect, which is in fact where there's no deadweight loss. But here, the firms restrict quantity in order to raise price, and that's what produces the deadweight loss.